Welcome to Be Well Live. My name is Chris Souza. I'm the fitness officer for King Campus. Um, today we're going to be talking about starting our gardens outside. I know last week we talked about uh, growing our own herb gardens inside, um, but today we're going to give you some tips on um, how to start your gardens. Um, so right now, because Ontario is so, because we, we live in such a cold climate, we have a shorter growing season. Um, so it's best that we start our um, seedlings, our seeds inside, um, so we can take advantage of the, of the warmer climate inside and then um, extend our growing season. Um, so there's two ways of, uh, of starting your gardens. Right now, there's some vegetables that you can actually plant out, uh, outside this week. Um, so I'll give you a list of those, but uh, most of the vegetables and fruits you want to start growing inside, like I said, just to, to take advantage of that longer growing season. Um, so some of the things you can start growing outside right now are things like carrots and beets, um, Swiss chard, spinach. Those are all things that you can actually plant right now outside in the gardens. Um, they're pretty hardy, so they can take the colder weather. Um, some of the vegetables that you can start planting indoors now uh, that will be ready in about three to four weeks to take outside are things like broccoli, kale, um, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, stuff like that. Um, and then most of the fruits you want to start inside as well because uh, they need to grow in, in a warmer weather. So um, anything like strawberries, uh, berries, things like that you want to start growing inside. Um, so what you need if you're going to start growing your seeds indoors um, is a container to, to hold them in some soil and you want something that's really well draining soil your container should should be able to drain as well so if you don't have a container with like holes in the bottom to let the water out um, you can actually poke holes in them and you can use pretty much um, almost anything that's plastic glass um, anything that's recyclable um, you can also use like egg cartons a lot of people do that they'll, they'll start um, their seeds in egg cartons um, you can actually go and buy like biodegradable planters like something like this um, but you do want to make sure that there is um, some drainage, okay? Um, why we actually want to plant uh, our own seeds is because it's actually uh, super cheap to do. If you go to like, a garden center and you start buying um, some of your some of your uh, little seedlings, which is like the little tiny plants that, that are just starting to grow, they can be pretty expensive. So if you go um, if you go online or you if, if Walmart's open or Home Depot and you go to the garden centers, you can get like a whole package of like a hundred seeds for the same price as you're gonna pay for like one little um, seedling. Um, so if you have the time and the right environment to grow them indoors, then it's a really good idea. So like I said, you can use any kind of container. Um, there's also these like little kits, almost like a greenhouse kit, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I have one here where it just comes like a plastic container, and then it has these um, these little mesh. Um, sacks filled with, filled with uh, a, a growing medium. So this is uses use peat moss. So a gro growing medium just means like something that they use to grow. Um, I have a question here about hours of sunlight. So I'll get into that as we go as well. Um, all plants kind of differ. All vegetables differ from how much sunlight they need. But you're going to need a minimum of, of probably six hours. Six to eight hours would be awesome. Um, but here's, uh, here's kind of what this looks like. Uh, it comes with the soil. And then you just put your seeds on. Some seeds you need to go a bit deeper, um, but you don't want to go too deep because they need to be strong enough to, to break through the surface and, and get the sunlight because it uses the sun to start to grow. Um, so here's here's what it looks like. Uh, you just put whatever seeds you want in. Again, you don't have to go this route. This is like the easiest route. Um, you can get this at Walmart. Uh, you can probably get it online for cheaper, 15, 20 bucks. Uh, but it comes with a lot of different... Uh, a lot of different um, uh, pouches there so you can start to grow these and then you can just throw those right into the ground once they start to come up uh, but again you can use anything you can use egg cartons uh, anything that's plastic that has some drainage the soil you want to use something that like uh, drains well so nothing that's too compact because the roots need to go out and the, the um, seeds need to actually start to, to shoot up through the soil um, to get enough sunlight so um, once these start to grow you can see these little guys here um, they're starting to grow up and then once you see like two shoots there you can see it's two leaves it's starting to split um, you don't want to overcrowd whatever you're growing okay so you can do something uh, that uh, that's called splitting where or thinning where you actually take out um, 
all the, the smaller growth. So because you don't want to over um, overcrowd your container, you should be taking out um, some of the smaller seedlings that um, that aren't going to grow as fast because there won't be enough nutrients in your little containers to feed all the plants that are growing. Okay, so do put a couple more. Don't just put one seed per uh, per container because sometimes the seeds don't grow. So if you put a couple and then you basically pick the best one or two to let grow and you take out the rest just so it doesn't overcrowd and there's enough um, nutrients for all the all the um, plants. Um, so once you do get your seeds in a container, um, you want to make sure that they're in a spot that's pretty warm uh, to start off with. So like at least 70 degrees. It doesn't need uh, sunlight right away until it kind of shoots through and starts to grow. Um, so once you have it in a warm spot, and it starts to shoot up and start to grow, then you can move it to a, an area where it's gonna get some sunlight. And it doesn't have to be too warm. It could be 60 to 70 degrees. Um, you wanna make sure that you're, you're watering, not so that it's saturated and it's, it's soggy soil, but that it's just, uh, just moist. So um, just keep an eye on it. You don't wanna overwater, but also you wanna make sure that, it's, um, that there's always a little bit of moisture in there. That's kind of what the idea is behind like the um, greenhouses. It lets the sun in, but it keeps everything um, prevents anything from drying. So once it shoots up, put it in like a windowsill. So it's about, um, you know, it gets six to eight hours of, of sunlight, um, vegetables and fruits and plants all different between how much uh, sunlight they need, but it's usually around at least four to six um, hours of sunlight. So make sure it's in a sunny window. <clears throat> and then as it starts to grow, like you can see these guys here, um, they're getting a bit bigger. So once they start to grow like this, what you can do is start to, it's called hardening, hardening off, where you're basically acclimatizing them to the outdoors so that once you move them outside and plant them, um, it's not like a shock to the, to the system. So you wanna make sure that you're taking them outside. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but if you have them in something like this, where you can just take them, literally take them outside, put them outside for an hour, um, and then over, you know, over about a week, you wanna increase the time slowly. So maybe like, a, you know, first for the first day an hour second day an hour and a half slowly not all the way up to, to six hours but um, just make sure you're slowly increasing it so they get used to the sunlight um, they also get used to the wind and the temperature um, otherwise if you just put them out they might go into shock and then die off so make sure you're kind of acclimatizing it to um, to being outside okay um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that just a quick tip to how to start your own gardens um, uh, without spending too much money because like I said it adds up so basically grab some containers it can be anything you have in your house that's plastic or you can poke little holes through so you can drain them you need some soil then you're going to look at the back of your packages um, here's a package here it'll tell you actually how deep to go in the soil um, and then it will tell you actually when to plant them outside and then how long it takes to harvest so some things are a bit uh, quicker to harvest meaning you can you can actually eat them um, Bef like before others so take a look at when you can harvest them you obviously want to strategically plant um, your vegetables so that not everything is ready to harvest at once because you're gonna have way too many vegetables so try to stagger them around um, but it'll tell you kind of uh, how much sun it needs everything will be on the back of the package again it's uh, it tells you it tells you all the info there so that's a great way to um, increase your their, your fruits and vegetable intake is, is having them readily accessible at home but also uh, super cheap just to start them at home, see, see them at home, and then um, you can use that money to buy more plants and more vegetables. Um, so yeah, we hope that you guys enjoyed um, enjoyed those tips and find them useful. You can always send us a message if you need more information. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Wellness Week this week. Today's the last day, and I hope you have a great weekend. Be well, and we'll see you next week.